Yeah, you, you have to have a return on innovation. Um, and we manage it like a process. So how many ideas are we collecting? How many of those ideas are moving to business case? How many of those business cases actually result in a pilot or a controlled launch? And how many of those ideas ultimately get to market? And we have a goal of how many that we need to actually operationalize or commercialize. And then those businesses have to obviously meet their financial goals. So you have to run it like a process or you won't be able to really justify you know, your existence. But at the same time, when we say an ROI, that ROI could be revenue, it could be cost savings, it could be a brand impact, or it could be a new consumer experience that just improves the way someone interacts with the system. So we have a lot of different measures, but at the end of the day, you're running a process and you have to make that innovation process work just like any other process. What's your success rate in launching new businesses? Well, we've only... I mean, is it, I mean I well, this is two time. years. This yeah, is this like is an experimental, you know, time. Really yeah, it, it's, it's a very experimental time for us. We've only, we've actually had the process in place for two years, so this is the result of two years worth of work, and so we're actually taking two businesses forward now. So we would say um, uh, we're a little bit less than 20%. Mm -hmm. So I would say we're probably, uh, I think we're 17% of the number of ideas going to business case and those business cases actually getting operationalized. Mm -hmm. We're about 17%. And we'd like to stay obviously above 10 and if we're hitting, if we're hitting 200 we're, we're happy.